don't know this country like you do. We could hide out somewhere until it blows over. Maybe. Only all they have to... But don't be daunted by their numbers. Heed my commands, and all will end well. Hey, you men down there. Tell the people outside the walls to prepare for a... What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmurg in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the rain on Scalots. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts Divish sent to Scarlet's to spy on Sigismund, said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And Sir Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies see? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here, won't we? Aye, we will. Oh! Who goes there? Lucifer and all his minions! Who else, Robber? Sir Adzig. What a relief. Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slit throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left the storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Scalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. 
I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? Yes, sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish, make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. I see you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend, and good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will, and good luck to you and your people, too. These are dark times. Men, tonight we'll have triple patrols. Sort out the watches between you as always. And if I catch anyone boozing, playing dice or slacking off, I'll personally break every bone in his body. I want you to keep a close eye on everything nearby. Sigismund will surely have sent spies, and likely men as well, to follow the Scalitz people now he knows they've fled. Keep your eyes peeled and report everything to me at once. Understood? What is it you need? I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are keen. Will you keep watch on the battlements with my men? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yes to. Of course I'll help. I have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid! And don't worry, I'll tell the men to relieve you later. What is it? Aren't you wandering around like a stray sheep? Must be your first watch, eh? I don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's what. I will. Thank you. I feel quite hungry.
self-appointed king wins the love and respect of his loyal subjects. Indeed, Robard. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. You may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. <laughs> That's the bastard who let the attacker Scullis and killed my parents! Don't be an idiot! Do you want to end up like them? I am Sir Mark Vart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order? by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Markvart. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king, and here in Townburg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, His Majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom, Sir Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Scalitz mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik, of which you speak, is the king's hetman at Scalitz. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle, where he has little chance of defense, to another, where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king then that Sir Ratzik Kobila is not a Tamburg and that he has your loyalty? Sir Radzik Kobila is not here, and I have no intentions of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and good will may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen. My lord, you have my utmost admiration. Get on with you, Robard.
Hey, watch it. God be with you. Folk these days. Sir Robard, I need to get to Scalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. My parents died there. I'm a free man, and I don't need to ask anyone's leave for doing what's right. Tell your people to let me out, or I won't be responsible for the consequences. Be glad I'm in a good mood, and won't have it spoiled by some greenhorn. Next time you take that tone with me, it'll be straight in a jail cell with you. Huh? What the hell are you doing? I don't believe it. Nobody could do that. I swear to God, that's exactly what I heard from that merchant. Fuck. We escaped certain death by the skin of our teeth. Aye, we surely did. God be with you. Can you tell me who I can buy something from or sell to? You want Votovar, the fellow that fixes the weir at the Tamburg fish pond. He should be around the granary somewhere. saw an unarmed crow man cornered by a barn, and he ripped one of the beams out of it and battered them all with it. Peculiar I weather we're having this year. It. Nobody uh, could do that. I swear to God, that's exactly what I heard from that merchant. Fuck, we escaped certain death by the skin of our teeth. Good day to you. I need to get out of here. And I need a feather bed with a comely wench in it. But it looks like we'll both be disappointed. Sir Divish gave orders not to open the gate, and you especially are not to be let out. My mother and father were left in scallops like carrion. I have to bury them. I can't leave them to the dogs. I'm sorry, my friend, but I can't. You'll have to persuade Sir Robard, or think something up so I don't end up in a shit for it. Otherwise, forget it. What am I supposed to think up? How should I know? Maybe some disguise so I could say I didn't recognize you? If a Townberg soldier turns up all kitted out properly, in armor and a helmet, then of course I'll let him go. That's obvious. All right, I'll have a look around for something. I need to get out of here. You here again, boy? Didn't I tell you how much trouble I'd be in if I let you of all people out?
Are you quite well? What are you doing here? Get lost, or you'll have me. Are you looking for me? Jesus Christ be praised. What do you think about that surprise during the night? I was surprised, all right. <laughs> I'm glad them people were saved, though. I'm just as glad it weren't Sigismund. For sure he'll come here in the end, too. But now at least we've got time to get ready for him. Maybe he'll leave Talmberg B. Maybe, maybe not. Could be he was only out to get Sir Radzik, because he's Wenceslas's headman. And Scarlet's is a rich town, so there was plenty of loot for the taking. Two birds with one stone. So he might be satisfied and leave us alone. Reckon we'll see soon enough, one way or the other. Hmm. By the way, Henry. It is Henry, ain't it? I was sorry to hear about your parents. They've gone on to better things. Can you tell me where I can buy or sell something? Someone to do business with. Well... Votova often gets things the merchants don't have. The last time I saw him, he was by the granary. Try him. He thinks about trade day and night. So Divish certainly put Sigismund in his place. <laughs> You're right there. <laughs> That's Sir Divish for you. May God grant him long life. God save, can I help you with anything? I would like to ask your assistance, my lady, if I may be so bold. What's the matter, lad? I need to get out of the castle, and your husband is keeping me here by force. Why, for the love of God, would you want to leave the castle? My parents are lying in the mud of skullets at the mercy of dogs and jackdaws. I can't just leave them there. That's terrible. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. But how can I help you, Henry? I don't want your death on my conscience. If I could just get past the guard at the gate somehow. But... but you can. If you wear a proper suit of armour, and if he can't see your face, he won't recognise you and he'll let you go. Good thinking. And where can I get the armour? At the armoury? Where's that? In the gate tower. But the soldiers sleep in other places around the castle too, and you might find armour nearby. It's rather embarrassing, but if I'm to pay a bribe, I need money, and unfortunately I don't have any. How would you? Don't worry your head about it. This should be enough. Thank you, my lady. I will repay you, I swear. Well, they'll certainly ask where I'm going. You could tell them Sir Robard sent you to Ujits to ask the parish priest how the folk there are faring. That sounds reasonable. Thank you, my lady. I must go now. What do you think, my lady? Do I look like a Talmberg soldier? Not quite, Henry. Just look at you. 
Oh, I see. Well, thanks. I feel quite hungry. Can we trade? If you've got the coin.
That's stolen. What are you trying on me? Get the hell out of here. Can we trade? I'd like to discuss the price. Why not? Here. And uh, something for your trouble. Thanks a thousand times. Can we trade? No business here. What? What the hell are you doing? Clear off. Hey. Jesus, look where you're going. What is it? You'll be sorry. Are you serious? 